Right now, $100,000 worth of dimes was stolen from a tractor trailer in Northeast Philadelphia. Yeah, take a look at Chopper 6 here. Shows all those dimes there. You see them scattered across a parking lot. This is at Philadelphia Mills, just off of Woodhaven Road. Now, police sources say the parked trailer was filled with about $750,000 in dimes when this break-in happened overnight. Action News reporter Maggie Kent is live there on the scene with the latest from investigators. Maggie. Sarah and John, this is incredible when you think about the magnitude, the amount of money that we're talking about and the amount of dimes that that means. Police were estimating about $100,000 was stolen. That means about a million dimes was taken from this trailer that's parked between Walmart and uh, the Mavis Discount Tire and Lomax Carpet and Tile Mart. It's in the uh, Philadelphia Mills Shopping Center. Chopper 6 was overhead this morning. The sparkling, shining pile of dimes spilling out of that park trailer in the parking lot just off the mall. The cargo was loaded up at the Philadelphia Mint yesterday. Police say the truck driver parked here overnight. He went home not far away and got some sleep before a long day of driving down to Florida. But when he returned in the morning, he found somebody had broken into the trailer using bolt cutters and stolen hundreds of thousands of dimes. And they were trying to cross cross load the dimes into other things to carry it away. There's dimes all over the parking lot. I feel like if they try to go to the bank and cash all of it in, then they're going to get caught and they'll be like, well, where did you get all these dimes from? Yeah, good question. Uh, police are going to have quite the project here. There was an estimated $750,000 worth of dimes inside that trailer to begin with. So in order to tally and clean up everything, it's going to be quite the project, of course. Again, they estimate about $100,000. It's hard to exactly know for sure how much was taken overnight. But this is an area with a lot of surveillance cameras. Police are hoping that that surveillance captures the people who